Oh, yeah, that's a great one. I wonder what filter I should put on there. Oh, gosh. Um, sorry. Uh, welcome back to another AO edition of The 100. This is exciting. Joining me, he's won more Grand Slams than anyone else, the world number one, Novak Djokovic. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and alongside him, representing America, we've got Mike Goldstein. I am confident. I easily overcome any failures or setbacks. I gave you some affirmations. I oh, thought you might be nervous. That's what I was just playing for my, <laughs> myself before I came in. Yeah, yeah. I needed that. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. All right. Uh, on the screen here, Novak, we've got 100 people. They oh, represent wow. the cross section of Australia. You've got to guess what they'll say to these questions. Question number one What percentage of Australians think French kissing is inappropriate? at a wedding ceremony? Between who? Between the bride and the groom? Or? <laughs> That's a good question. Yeah, yeah bride, and like bride and groom. Yeah. Bride and groom? Yeah. Bride and the groom's dad? Totally inappropriate. Inappropriate. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What percentage? I think it's inappropriate. Inappropriate. 70% you think is inappropriate. Yeah. Is it 30%? You, you think, why did, why, Jesus, why did you say 30%? Like? Well, I feel like Australians are a little more loose, right? And if they're going to French kiss, they might as well <laughs> let us watch them consummate okay. as well. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Fair. Yeah. Fair comment. Okay, yeah. let's see. What percentage of Australians think it's inappropriate to French kiss at a wedding ceremony? 43%. Mike oh. just wins that one. Well done, Mike. Wow. Those affirmations are paying off. Yeah, okay. thank you. I'm, I'm starting to shift my thank perspective you. on the Australian public. Good. Keep yeah. moulding it. Keep moulding it. <laughs> I thought they were more appropriate. <laughs> <laughs> All right, question two. All right. What percentage of Australians have smashed a piece of sporting equipment Oof. while playing a match? Sporting equipment, meaning racket? Yes, racket, bat. All sports, not tennis only. Yeah, not just tennis. Yeah, I would say I'll go with my... 70 again. Right. 70%. You go 60? Well, we're close. Not bad, not bad. How, how many rackets do you reckon you've <laughs> I knew you would come up with that question. <laughs> <laughs> over the right, over your whole life. Yeah, let's say I did smash less than Ivanishevich, my tennis coach. Oh, yes. Right. Far less than him. Right. So I pride myself in that. <laughs> <laughs> you guys compare numbers. Yeah. I like that. OK, let's see how many of our 100 have smashed a piece of sporting equipment. 30%. My gosh. You wow. guys we are, are both so... firing. Yeah. Come on, you, you... I, I gotta I gotta up my game here. <laughs> when your back's to the wall is when you play your best. Okay, I'm I'm coming back. Okay. It's an early break, but I'm coming back. Yes. <laughs> uh, this different style of question. This or that. Right. right. You just have to write a word. Yeah. When Australians are on the toilet, do they scrunch or fold? Oh. I mean, I mean it has to be scrunch. Really? Yeah. OK, we'll pop right down scrunch. I'm a folder, just so you know. Mike, you're a folder? I'm not, but I just... He put scrunch, so I put fold. OK. And, I mean, you could do what Andy does and just have your servant do it, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boo, OK. <laughs> Fair. Yeah. So what is it? Are you a scrunch or fold? Scrunch. Really? Mm. Let's have a look. Oh! OK, I'm done. Yeah. All right, all right, all right this all is right. it. Clean sweep. All right, this is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea about those shit. Have you been living here? Yeah, a while. OK, so that's why. Uh, I did my research. <laughs> that's really no back. Crazy. I'm, sure, I'm sure that'll be your only loss, this Australian Open. Thank you. Thanks yeah, for hopefully. coming in, buddy. Hopefully. Yeah. See Thank you tomorrow you night. Thank you. <laughs>